small town. <laughs> I was born in Marion. I've lived in um, Marion and I've lived in the Muncie area, which is also, you know, a little bigger, but still a small town. Central Indiana girl my whole life. And, you know, I feel more comfortable here. I, I understand the people. I understand, you know, where we're all from here. A shared culture of being in a small town. And I think being from around here, you can know the resources you know, know where to go, know who to talk to, who to ask, and things like that. Well, I like to meet people wherever they're at in their healthcare journey. Um, I don't think people intend to necessarily ignore their health. I think sometimes just life gets in the way. As a parent or a caregiver of someone else in your family, you may put your own needs aside to take care of your children or your grandparents or your parents that are getting elderly or whatever it may be or you were just busy you know, making your career and your life and your health was a priority. But the day you come in, that's the first step. I'm here to see you every single time along the way in your journey and we can work on, the, it's like a project that you work on together. And you look at you know, all the different pieces and your project is gonna look different than this person's because this person's diabetic and then you've got this and you've got that. And sometimes it's real basic things that people have as barriers like I'm homeless or I don't have enough money for food. And that's a really nice thing that Aspire has, is we have people that can help them with you know, insurance, they can help them with you know, housing and help them find food banks and things like that. You know, when you live here amongst the same people that you're serving, it, it, you take it to heart because you want your community to be strong and healthy because this is where you live, this is where your kids go to school, this is where you go to church, all those things. So, you know, you're kind of working on in your own backyard, so to speak.